one of the fastest ways to ruin your wire rope or wear your shiv out prematurely is to have a shiv that is too small for the diameter of wire rope being used. Bending wire rope over too small of a shiv can result in fatigue breaks in the rope itself and perhaps excessive wear in the rope and shiv. This is caused by the excessive and repeated bending and straightening of the wire rope as it enters and leaves the shiv. We measure how tightly we're bending wire rope by what is called the D to D ratio. This ratio can be found by determining the shiv's pitch diameter and then dividing that number by the diameter of the wire rope being used. For example, if the pitch diameter of the shiv we are using is 20 inches and the diameter of wire rope is 1 inch, then our D to D ratio is 20 to 1. The smaller this ratio, the tighter the bend in the wire rope and the greater the likelihood of premature wear in the wire rope and shiv groove. A small D to D ratio will increase the likelihood of fatigue breaks in the wire rope as well. In most standard hoisting applications, requiring the use of shivs by themselves or in a block and tackle assembly, we should always try to use the biggest diameter shivs as possible to increase our D to D ratio. This will help increase the life of the wire rope, shiv, and the shiv bearings. However, it is important to point out that compromises sometimes have to be made when selecting the size of the shivs to be used. For instance, the user may be restricted by the physical size the shiv can be in order to fit into the design system. Cost limitations may be a concern, as well as weight limitations for practical on-the-job use. Although these considerations are important, when selecting the size of shivs, the ASME, D to D ratios, should be adhered to as a minimum requirement when specified. ASME, or the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, does have minimum D to D ratios for various types of cranes. For instance, ASME B30.5 specifies the minimum D to D ratios for the shivs used on mobile cranes to be as follows. Boom hoist shivs must have a minimum D to D ratio of 15 to 1. Load block shivs must have a minimum D to D ratio of 16 to 1. And load hoist shivs must have a minimum D to D ratio of 18 to 1. These are just a portion of the D to D ratios specified by ASME. See ASME B30.2 for overhead and gantry crane requirements and ASME B30.3 for minimum D to D ratios specified for tower cranes. When reviewing the various standards, you will not find minimum D to D ratios specified for snatch blocks. When using a snatch block, many times the weight of the block as well as its physical size is important. Thus, a snatch block with a large diameter shiv would not be practical. Also, many snatch blocks are used in applications requiring intermittent use and for changing the direction of line only. Snatch blocks typically do not see the everyday abuse and heavy-duty cycles commonly found in many crane block applications. However, it is a good rigging practice to select snatch blocks with as big a diameter of shiv as your application can permit. This will help extend the life of the wire rope as well as the shiv as discussed earlier. For additional information or videos about the many products and services offered by the Crosby Group, you may contact Crosby Direct at 1-800-772-1500 and visit our website at www.thecrosbygroup.com for the latest updates on our products and services. Or you can email us at crosbygroup at thecrosbygroup.com.